Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we will be customizing our theme. So this is a very, very, very awesome feature. We will be working up with customize. So what you have to do, you have to go to your dashboard. Okay. Then you have to go to your appearance and there is customize here. You can customize your everything. So we installed uh, some of our plugins to work when we were installing our theme let me show you which plugins we installed okay so let me go back to dashboard and then we have appearance and we have our storefront i told you guys to install some plugins like uh, we installed uh, this jetpack and we also installed our home page control so if we come to the plugins install plugins then we will see home page control and jetpack and some other plugins here you go we have three plugins activated which is woocommerce which is this our jetpack which is used to add a logo okay and home page control you will see it's here home page control which is used to control this home page if you need this recent product stop you can bring it up and if you need this down then you can bring it down okay so we installed these plugins I told you to do that so if you haven't done that then you have to go to the appearance storefront and then you have to install all of the plugins that the storefront is recommending you guys so let's look at the site title and tagline we have one stop shop and buy everything you want okay then we have our background which we can select any image for a background like if I select this one image this is my now background which is not looking much professional so let me remove this and I can even use a color okay or I can use the default I think so this one is fine then I have to click here and save and publish and now when I will refresh you'll see this color appearing okay so this is header function now we have our footer this is what we call as footer one stop shop 2015 storefront designed by WooCommerce okay so we will select a background just let me choose this one header I don't know what is this color code so I think so this one is better then we have our heading color text color and link color so link color is purple it's perfect and everything is great but let me change the text color to white it's light pink so it's also looking perfect then we have heading as we don't have any heading so this won't work okay let me choose the default one and now we have to come to the typography which is this content I can use the text color to be you can see this is changing I can use the darker or I can use anyone uh, just make sure that you don't guys do a lot of messing up with it because uh, they choose always eye-catching color and awesome color so make sure that you guys don't uh, okay the heading color is this this home page this so now I'll change this is changing uh, default one is much better so now we have our buttons where is buttons so buttons will be in the products so you can go and mess around with it then we have layout this one is perfect you can even work with it like uh, when I will go to my blog and I have this layout content here and a sidebar here I can use this and the sidebar will be shift here and content here so I can use this one as well so mostly the e-commerce websites have sidebar here so you can go on with sidebar here then we have our home page control this is very important you can uncheck if you don't want this content I will uncheck and my content is gone so now it's 
working perfect. Now we have the product categories on top, recent products, featured products. Then we have top rated products and on sale products, okay? So we can change them if we want to. Then we have our widgets. Here we can add something. Like we can add meta. And the meter is coming here. Okay, let me delete and let me add something different. So you can even add the WooCommerce, okay? And you can go on with it. So I can add a list of pages, okay? And you can even exclude pages, okay, if you want to. And then you can even add a lot of widgets here. So let me add some widgets by pausing the video. Okay, so now I have added this about us, which is also looking great. And so I would highly recommend you guys to add something about us and then contact us and you can even embed a contact form. So uh, you might have a best SEO. So now in the next video, we will learn how to install the SEO plugin and do some SEO side by side so that our website should come in search engines. Okay, so stay tuned and goodbye.